For more reaction to Alphabet's results, let's bring in Loop Ventures founder, Fast Money friend, Gene Munster. Gene, great to see you again. What did you make of this I'm quarter? Lisa. Solid quarter, another reminder that Google is in fact the oxygen of the internet. 22% revenue growth that compares to 22% in the previous quarter. This is adjusting for FX. Uh, surprisingly, they have grown their revenue in the 20 to 24% range now over 17 consecutive quarters. And to put that into perspective, if you look at Facebook, uh, 17 quarters ago it was growing up in the mid 50% and now it's growing at 25%. And so that is the definition, Google in the case, is the definition of define the law of large numbers. And I think that that theme about being the oxygen of the Internet also plays through with where the stock is at today. And effectively, we're close to all-time highs. This is uh, a $900 billion market cap, and I think that uh, it was uh, a solid quarter. One other piece that really jumped out at me was the paid click number. So that is the, uh, or excuse me, the, the clicks, uh, how, how uh, uh, the year-over-year -year growth in clicks was up. 18%, a slight deceleration from the mid 20% last quarter. But the, the, the cost per click, or what they get paid on each click, was down only 2%. It was down 11% in the previous quarter. If they ever get that intersection where both paid clicks are growing and they're making actually growing uh, profitability or growing uh, price per click year over year, mm -hmm. if they can get that, I think you're going to see a nirvana on the stock. In terms of monetizing other, other platforms, Gene, I mean, how does... How does Alphabet keep up that, that growth streak at that magnitude um, if the areas for monetization uh, could be sort of capped or reined in by regulators? And I'm talking about YouTube primarily. So that's the big question here is the regulatory piece. And it's one that they uh, have a, a kind of a, a standard response to, which is that they've dealt with regulatory environments in the past and they've continued to navigate them ultimately is that that will weigh on the multiple. I think that Google's a great story to own. Let's see what happens with the earnings call here tonight. But ultimately, it's a great story to own. But what you said in the regulatory environment, we have uh, a quite a, a, a supercharged political environment that is going to go. The easiest target here is Google. Uh, we talk about YouTube. We talk about maps and search and how they tie those together. Uh, Google has uh, uh, over 40 products, consumer-facing products, that they tie together. And ultimately, I think that we are a long way away from getting to the bottom of that. And it's more probably ultimately headline risk, but that will, I think, continue to needle at the stock's multiple over the next year. Hey, Gene, it's Tim. Can we talk a little bit about cloud and how these guys have nudged themselves right in the middle of Amazon and Microsoft or somewhere in that group, certainly the multi-elemental uh, part of the platform that has people uh, and, and a very sticky user base involved and, and what that does to your multiple and talk about, you know, kind of a blended multiple here as well. So their cloud business, they don't break it out, but it's in the other revenue or the non-ad revenue. And that was it was probably up 35 percent. Uh, year over year. That is uh, effectively slight deceleration from last quarter for Google Cloud. It was the exact same growth that AWS had in the quarter that they uh, just reported. And so think of them as essentially maintaining market share in a, in a bigger market, uh, in a growing market. In terms of the, the, the concept of some of the parts versus the total, when I think about the Google story, and my, my, my uh, thought on large cap has been evolving toward this, is to kind of put it all together and see what that ultimately drives in terms of revenue growth. In the case of Google, it's just been remarkable. We talked about the revenue growth before. And so uh, let me try to just quick uh, put one final piece to it. I think you can look at a story like Google and think of this as the information oxygen of the Internet. And I think it should trade like a consumer stable company in the mid-20 uh, multiple range, which effectively it's trading at right now. Uh, I think you look at another company like Apple and what they're doing around services and devices and being a consumer staple around that. I think that should also trade at kind of that mid uh, Coca-Cola-like multiple. It's currently in the high teens. And so when I think of the sum of parts question, Tim, it's more about uh, kind of looking at it all together. I don't actually carve out, I'm not answering your question, don't actually carve out uh, Google Cloud.